Once Upon a Time, an analysis of the poem by Gabrielle O'Cara. Firstly, let's read the poem. Once upon a time, son, they used to laugh with their hearts and laugh with their eyes. But now they only laugh with their teeth, while their ice-blocked cold eyes search behind my shadow. There was once a time, indeed, where they used to shake hands with their hearts, but now that's gone, son. Now they shake hands without hearts, while their left hands search my empty pockets. Feel at home, come again, they say, and when I come again and feel at home, once, twice, there will be no thrice, for there I find doors shut on me. So I've learnt many things, son. I've learnt to wear many faces, like dresses, home face, office face, street face, host face, cocktail face, with all their conforming smiles like a fixed portrait smile. And I've learnt, too, to laugh with only my teeth and shake with my hands without my heart. I've also learnt to say goodbye when I mean good riddance, to say glad to meet you without being glad, and to say it's been nice talking to you after being bored. But believe me, son, I want to be what I used to be when I was like you, I want to unlearn all these muting things. Most of all, I want to relearn how to laugh, for my laugh in the mirror shows only my teeth like a snake's bare fangs. Show me, son, how to laugh. Show me how I used to laugh and smile once upon a time when I was like you. What are the themes of the poem? I believe the themes are change, society, influence, dishonesty, innocence, but mostly authenticity. Let's look at the imagery in the poem. One example of this is the phrase, I've learnt to you wear many dresses like faces. Putting on fake emotions to fit in is what the persona is doing. It's appropriate in office or work setting, but not in the real world. Now what's the tone of the poem? It's a very sad and mourning tone, looking back into a time when he was happier. For example, when he says, I, used to, I want to be what I used to be, and once upon a time when I was like you. It seems like a personal view rather than a persona's view, so the personal view of the writer. And he just wants to go back to when he was happily fitting in. The poem is circular. It starts and ends with once upon a time, looking back, showing importance to when he was young. And it's in first person, which expresses the personal side of the poem. There's a lot of repetition in the poem. The word son is repeated a lot. This shows that the poem is about a real relationship and shows how important the persona's son is to him. The word laugh is repeated a lot. If one can laugh properly, it's possible to be really happy. If you can't laugh authentically, things feel very wrong. Authenticity is the theme of the poem. Do people show emotion because they truly, authentically mean it? Or is it because it is a social construct to smile politely at people? Metaphors. The author uses blunt metaphors to express how harsh society today is. Like when he describes somebody as having ice block cold eyes. There's no uh, rhyme scheme in the poem. And it shows that the poem is an intimate monologue given by a father to his son. makes it seem more natural. The language used, well, the writer uses terms such as muting things and unlearn. And these are very negative terms that coldly show he's not happy with the state of society. He has to make negative changes to himself to be able to fit in. What's the message? Adults can adapt to society, but they can also adapt back to how the children live. Children see things in a more positive way, hence the author wanting to learn from the child. But if an author, adult lives with a child's mindset, he too can equally be happy. And from a more direct point of view, in the past people were just being authentically polite, but now people just say nice things because it's what society expects them to do. It condemns the hypocrisy of adults. Thank you for listening.